Well, folks, a friend of mine, she posted a picture of her daughter's softball team. And it really made me think, and I just had to, I had to do a video about this. It made me think, and the softball team, the pictures of the softball team, right? Normally, this is a girl's softball team. They're like fourth grade or something, fourth, wait a minute. No, sixth grade. It's like sixth grade girls softball team. And I thought, okay, sixth grade girls having a good time playing softball. I mean, I helped coach my daughter's softball team last year, and and that was fun. The girls have a good time. But that, uh, these girls, they're all looking tough in the pictures. Arms crossed, bats down, looking like a bunch of warriors. And I thought, there's something messed up with this picture. Like, why do girls want to act so masculine? And I told my wife, I said, hey, did you see the pictures of a friend of ours post these pictures? And she's like, yeah. I said, well, yeah, is there something wrong with that? And my wife was like, oh, man, here we go. I said, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I said, yeah, there is something wrong with that in there. That why, why are these women, these young girls being trained to act so masculine? Yes, we play softball and we are so tough. Mm, that kind of stuff. And I was like, you know, is this? Is this like a, a modern phenomenon that's going on that we're training all of these girls and all these sports? Now, this is travel softball, right? So I guess this is a big deal. This is serious, whatever. But we're training all these girls to be so masculine. So I looked online. I was like, kind of wonder. And so I pulled up. So I just do a random Google search of girls softball teams. Yeah. And I pull up. Here's a picture of a girls softball team. This is what I'm talking about. Same type of picture that they took with a friend of mine. All the girls, arms crossed, looking tough. Mm. And even what the catcher down here, she's staring at the camera, looking tough, like, yeah, you better not mess with me, blah, blah. It's like, how, how ridiculous, how ridiculous is this? Even, let me, even, yeah, same type of thing here. All the girls looking tough. The one on the right here, she's got the bat pointed right at you. Uh, we're coming for you, blah, blah, blah. Just stupid. You know, just stupid. So why are we training these young girls to act so masculine? And it really made me mad. It made me mad enough. I told my wife, I was like, you know what? I'm going to post on our friend's Facebook and how I don't think this is this is right. I mean, this is wrong. It's wrong that we're doing this. And my wife, no. she said, no, don't. Please don't do it. Please don't do it for once. For once, just don't say something. She's like, you're not going to change it. Nothing's going to change. You'll never. <laughs> and I thought, what? Well, you're talking to the post-millennial man here. It's not in my nature to not say something. This is my nature. Yes, do I tick everybody off? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I don't think I've met someone yet I haven't ticked off. All right. <laughs> this is my nature to do this. I said, you don't think I'm going to post? You know, What? You don't think I'm going to speak my mind on this issue? I said, woman. When they told Columbus, hey, don't worry about sailing across the ocean. It'll never make any difference. It won't change anything. Do you think Columbus said, yeah, I guess not. All right, let's go back home. No, he said, hey, get in those ships. We're going across the ocean. I don't care if we sail off the end of the earth. We're going. Get in there. We're rocking it. When they told George Washington, hey, <clears throat> listen, it's all given up. There's no hope. You'll never change anything. Your army's defeated. Blah, blah, blah. There's no escape. Don't worry about it. What did George Washington say? Yeah, you're right. Blah, blah. I guess we shouldn't worry about it. Let's just give up. No, he said, get in those boats. We're crossing the Delaware at night, and we're going to win this thing. And they won it. When they told Abraham Lincoln, hey, listen, you'll never change anything. Freeing the slaves, that's bad. Nobody will care. Nothing's going to happen. And nothing will ever change. He said, no, give me that document. I'm signing that thing. We're freeing them. When they told Hernando Cortez, oh, my favorite, Hernando Cortez, when they told him when he came to Mexico, they said, listen, we only got 300 men. There's over a million Aztecs. We'll never conquer them. What did Hernando Cortez said? He said, burn the ships. We're going anyway. That's the kind of spirit we need, my friends, in the post-millennial age.
But the thing I want to, I want you guys as if, if there's any of uh, the people listening out there that have daughters, this is what you should, this is what I want you to take away from my nonsense that I'm, I'm droning on about here. I talked to my daughter. I brought up the picture. I said, daughter, I said, what do you think's wrong with this picture? And my daughter, she looks at me and she's like, well, I know what you're going to say is wrong with this picture. Now, my daughter's almost 13, right? She's getting to that age. <clears throat> and But she still listens to dad a little bit, a little bit. She listens to dad. And I said, okay, what's wrong with it? And she said, well, they're trying to act tough. And I said, that's exactly right. I said, why are these girls trying to act masculine, tough? I said, tough is a masculine trait. It is not a feminine trait to act tough. Why are these girls trying to act so masculine? Isn't that something messed up? And my daughter's like, well, I don't think it's that bad, dad. Well, I don't see what the big deal is. I said, okay, here's an analogy for you, my daughter. I said, what if somebody posted a picture of a boy's dance team, which I guess there are boys dance teams. That's, you know, whatever. And all the boys were wearing skirts and they were looking at the camera like this. Wouldn't you see that online and say, well, there's something messed up here. Something's going on. It's not correct. Something's weird. And my daughter said, yeah, yeah, that'd be weird. I said, okay, so why is it okay for the girls to act masculine? And everybody thinks that's great. But when the boys act feminine, we all go, whoa, 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 something wrong here. So I'm getting my daughter to think about that. Now, <clears throat> this is my encouragement for any of you who have daughters. I would encourage you to do the same thing. When you spot nonsense like this to say, listen, daughter, do you notice these differences here? Why is it okay when boys do this kind of thing? We'd say, well, there's something, all these boys, a bunch of Nancy boys in here. But if girls do it, we say, rah, rah, six boom, ba, you go girl, girl power. And one thing I want to else I want to say is why are all these girls trying to play the man? Now, in scripture, in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, the instruction from the Apostle Paul to the young men is to be strong, be brave, and act like men. The instruction to the women is not to act like men. Women are to act like women. Women are to be feminine. Men are to be strong and act like men. Be brave, be courageous. Back in, what is it, Second Kings, First or Second Kings, Joab and Abishai. Joab, David's great general. They're going to take a city they're surrounded, and Joab, he says to Abishai, let's be strong, Abishai. And I think it's the King James says, let's be strong and let's play the man. Let's act like men. Let's be brave. Let's be courageous. He looks at him, right. That's what men are supposed to be. Tough, brave, strong, courageous. Women are not ever instructed in Scripture to be strong, courageous, brave, those kinds of things. Those are masculine traits. Men are to play the man. Women are to be soft and gentle. A gentle and quiet spirit is what scripture says of the women. That is feminine. That is what we should be training the women to embrace, the young girls to embrace. Now, do we have an uphill battle? Yes, we do, because the effinism has infected all of our minds. Even my mind, I'm sure, has been affected by it. But we got to try and we got to do it. We got to call it out when we see it. And we're going to keep calling it out as we see it because Christ is winning. He is building his church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Until next time, this is Post Millennial Man.